Dear students, welcome you all to this digital electronics lecture series. So in this tutorial, we will learn about the deep flip-flop. So in one of our previous video, we saw about the lats. And in this tutorial, we will learn about the flip-flop. So the basic difference between the lats and the flip-flop is, in the case of lats, we will have a enable signal and whenever the enable signal will be high the output is going to change but in the case of the flip-flop we have to use a clock signal in the place in place of enable signal so that's the basic difference so the flip-flop will operate either at the positive edge or at the negative edge it depends on our requirement so these are the points covered in this tutorial so first of all we will see the graphic symbol then we will see the logic diagram using NAND gate we can use NOR gate also but for this presentation I will use here a NAND gate based deep flip flop then we will see the operation of the logic circuit we will with example that means we will take values 0 and 1s at the input and we will try to find out the next state then we will see the truth table then we will from the operation of the circuit and and various cases considered and from there we will we'll make the truth table and then we will make the characteristic table from this truth table using this truth table then we will derive the characteristic equation and finally we will see the excitation table so let us first see the graphic symbol all of you know that a d flop is a data flip flop or it is a modification of the sr flip flop to avoid the forbidden state or invalid state now we'll see the graphic symbol suppose this is the d flip flop okay so this is the flip flop okay we'll have an input that is d or the data and we'll have here a clock input clk this is the clock input will have a output q1 and will have another inverted output q1 bar so this is the graphic symbol of the flip-flop now we will see the logic diagram using NAND gate logic diagram of the flip-flop using NAND gate so we'll have to cross couple NAND gate these are two NAND gate and they are cross coupled that means the output is the input of this lower flip flop and similarly for the upper flip flop also so we'll have here qn and qn bar so we already know that a deep flop is the modification of the sr flip flop so let us so this is suppose if we apply here s and if we apply here r this is the sr flip flop so from this we will modify to make the d flip flop so how we'll do it we have to use another nand gate okay we have to use another nand gate and we have to use here a clock also this is clock okay we'll have here an input d this is the input of this d flip flop okay so we have used here a cross coupled nand gate and we have here the present present state output and this is the inverted state so we have to do some modification so we'll use here to nand gate and the input d input the data input is given here and we will invert and we will invert this input like this using another NAND gate okay so this is nothing but an inverter okay suppose if we have 0 here then 0 0 both input will be 0 then output will be 1 and if we have 1 both input will be 1 of this NAND gate both input will be 1 and we will get here 0 that means it is just working as an inverter okay so this is the logic diagram of the flip flop now let us see the operation of this logic circuit with example so here we can see that it is a one bit input okay suppose one bit at a time okay so we can have input either zero or one okay we have input either zero or one now 
let us see the condition now we'll touch the point 3 that is operation of this logic circuit operation when clock is equal to 0 and d is equal to 0 and clock is equal to 0 for let us consider the first case suppose when clock equal to 0 and this input is 0 okay so we'll see here when clock is 0 that means one of the input of these two NAND gate is 0 that means whenever we have 0 or 1 okay so regardless of the 0 and 1 we will get the same output so so whenever the clock is 0 that means we are giving a 0 so if the input of a NAND gate is 0 then we will have 1 at this output so here we will have 1 1 and 1 that means this s and r both equal to 1 so in the case of sr lets using nand gate when both the s and r are 1 we get the present state that means the next state equal to qn plus 1 equal to qn or it is the memory state or it is the memory state or simply we can say that whenever this clock is zero the flip-flop is storing the present state and the, the next state output is so whenever we are using a clock zero that means we are not giving any signal at the clock input so we'll get the present state as the next state okay the next state will be equal to the present state so now let us make clock equal to one okay when d equal to 0 now the clock is 1 that means we are giving here 1 input okay so when d is 0 when d is 0 we will get that means d will be 0 will be here so 1 and 0 so we will get here 1 that means s equal to 1 and r equal to 1 0 when we are giving here when you are giving a 0 that means we will have here 1 s is 1 and this 0 will be 1 here because it is an inverter so we will get here 1 this 1 and 1 the output will be 0 that means r is equal to 0 so when s equal to 1 and r equal to 0 okay so let us see the working of these two NAND cross couple NAND gate so when r equal to 0 so from the truth table of NAND gate we saw that if any one of the input is 0 then we will get output is high that means any one of the input is 0 then we will get here 1 that means we will get here 1 so here we will get the inverted output so q1 is 0 that means the next state is 0 next state is 0 and when d equal to 1 we will get when d equal to 1 we will get that means this one will be here and we will get an inverted 0 here 1 and 0 here so we will get if anyone suppose this one is also 1 always clock is 1 always here when the clock is high enough okay so 1 and 1 the output will be 0 and here 1 and 0 the output will be 1 now this s is 0 okay so when s is 0 that means whenever any one of the input of a NAND gate is 0 the output is 1 so we'll get here 1 1 this one is connected here this one is feedback here so we'll here 1 and 1 so if both the input are 1 and 1 the output of the NAND gate is 0 so we got here s equal to 0 and r equal to 1 s equal to 0 and r equal to 1 so we get q n plus 1 equal to 1 okay so this is the working of the NAND gate that means we have two only two types of input that means d can be either 0 or 1 so we we checked this for when clock equal to 1 and we checked when clock equal to 0 d uh, irrespective of this d will get the output is the memory state okay so now from this operation okay so from this operation we will make the truth table this point is covered this point is covered operation is covered now we'll see this truth table okay truth point number four truth table of the flip-flop so from this working we will make the truth table 
for the truth table we have a clock and an input d so we'll have the output qn plus one that means next to the output okay so clock when clock is zero and this d is don't care that means d may be zero or one we saw that when clock equal to zero and d is zero, either zero or one we'll get qn is the q1 q1 plus one is q1 that means the next state output is the present state output so we can write here q1 now let us see clock equal to high so when clock equal to high and d equal to zero we'll get q1 plus one is zero when clock is high and d is one so we'll get q1 plus one is one so this is the truth table of the flip flop okay this one is truth table is finished now we will see the characteristic table okay now let us see the characteristic table number five characteristic table of the flip-flop okay so for making the characteristic table we'll have the present state qn and we'll have an input d we'll assume here that the clock is one okay and we'll have qn plus one this is the next state output this is the present state output and d from there we'll find out q1 plus one so we will see this truth table and from here only we can find out this characteristic table so we have here 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 now see when qn is 0 okay and d is 0 whenever d is 0 there is only one case whenever d is 0 we will have qn plus 1 equal to 0 that means whenever we have d equal to 0 these two cases will have the output 0 okay we'll also have here 0 and whenever the input d is 1 the output is 1 it is not depending on the present state okay so we'll have here 1 and 1 so this is the characteristic table of the flip-flop so from here we can derive the characteristic equation so number 6 characteristic characteristic equation so we need not to draw any k-map and find an expression from there so we can directly see here that this q and plus one is not dependent on the present state output okay present state okay present state of this logic so q1 plus one whenever d is zero q1 plus one is zero when d is one q1 plus is one when d is zero q1 plus one is zero and when d is one so q1 plus is one it is not this q1 plus one is not dependent on this present state okay therefore we can directly write that q n plus one equal to d so this is the characteristic equation now we will see the excitation table okay so these are the points completed now i'll see this excitation table okay excitation table for making the excitation table we will take the present state q n and the next state q n plus one as input and we will find out the what is the respective d for this present state output and next state output okay so we'll have zero 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 one one zero one one so from here we can see that from this this is very simple this character is one whenever that means q1 plus 1 is d so we can take the vice versa so d is q1 plus 1 so directly we can write here that d is the q1 plus 1 so d equal to 0 when q1 plus 1 is 0 d equal to 0 when q1 plus 1 is 1 d is 1 when q1 plus 1 is 0 d is 0 and q1 plus 1 is 1 d is also 1 so this is the excitation table of the flip-flop it is very simple because we have only two types of input and d can be either zero or one so this is all about the flip-flop if you have any comments please put in the comment section below if you like the video please share with your friends also subscribe to my channel thank you